we serve a covenant keeping God. Among the platforms ordained of God to operate in the supernatural is to commit to kingdom advancement endeavors. Kingdom advancement and divorce here include one soul winning. Put on the gospel armor we sang in that song. Verse three of it, I mean stanza three and four, the last two stanzas. If you can put that on the screen. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. The gospel is a spiritual armor. Your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. It's a call to duty. It's a covenant responsibility. So many empowers believers to operate in the supernatural. Remember, it that went souls is wise. Proverbs eleven thirty, and the wise shall inherit glory. Proverbs three thirty five, and they that be wise shall shine, not shall struggle; they shall shine. As the brightness of the firmament, and there are too many righteousness, as this stars forever and ever. So stars are made of those who are committed to turning many to righteousness. Stars are made. <laughs> we have received a lot of humbling tributes from one. Thinkable places. <laughs> I will bless this earth and I will make thy name great. These are not things by chance. I just read a new book, Passion for Souls, A Hidden Kingdom Treasure. Between 2015 and this year, the first operation we did, I've seen 138,000 souls give their life to Christ. Oh. Not in church, no. Jesus is saving them in church and partnering with him on the streets. And they that torment righteousness as these stars forever and ever. Nobody sits down to emerge a star in the kingdom. Forget it. Paul said, I've not obtained help of God. I continue to this day witnessing. And who was Paul? Jesus I know, Paul I know. Let's stop wishing. Let's stop waiting. Let's step into action. God never lies. Every child of God is ordained a soul winner if he chooses to. <laughs> Choose ye this day whom ye shall serve. But as for me, Joshua said, and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15. If he chooses to. If he chooses to. For you are not chosen me, said, I have chosen you, and I have ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruits, that your fruit should abide, and that will launch into favor with me. If he chooses to. You know many are called, but few are chosen. Or people choose to respond. Few choose to respond. 
Now, every soul winner is commanded, is empowered to command the supernatural. Go to the world and preach the gospel. And this science shall follow them. Science don't sit down with people. Science follow people. Science follow people. Science follow people. Science don't sit down with people. Science follow people who are on the go for Jesus, either on the altar of prayer, passionately, fervently interceding for souls to be saved, making specific mention of individuals who are targeted for the kingdom. Amen. Or burning with passion. Pursuit after the lost. Science don't follow the seated. Science follow those on the go. And they went forth. Preaching the word. And God also confirming the word with science following. That's what happens. Many, many years ago, we were in that kind of little village crusade. And the Lord said to me, there was a young man brought there that was deaf and dumb. He said, go down and kiss him. I went down. His name is Samuel. That's what he said. I said, what's his name? He said, Samuel. Samuel. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. That was it. Signs follow those on the go. Not people sitting down somewhere. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Somebody got delivered in one of those meetings, and then the evil spirit came on him the following day in our camp. And then um, they called me, they said, Brother David, there's a problem here. There's a big problem here. And when I go, they say, is this a big problem? Leave him. Because he was throwing everybody around, no matter how much muscle you had. You know, demonic power. And the man's strength, the gap is wide. Praise God. That's why when somebody's mad, he stays inside the coat and he's not burning. Eh? Leave him. Then I shot at him the wall. The angels that left their force still are kept in chains under darkness. What are you doing here? <sighs> These things follow them that are on the go. They don't sit down with you. So when you're on the go for Jesus, be bold to pray for the sick. Be bold to pray for the challenge. God has to follow you. You see in that book, if you care to read it, the testimonies of changed lives. So we are God's change agents. And can I tell you this? Whatever flows through you first blesses you. So if science flows through you, science will first bless you. Water can pass through you and you are still thirsty. You can't carry water as a pipe and still be thirsty. If water is passing through you, it first waters you. Before it goes, the husbandman that laboreth is first partaker of the fruit. Second Timothy 2 6. So the more you are sold out to God, the higher your level of command of supernatural, which blesses you in person. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen? Amen. It flows through you to bless others, but you are a first partaker because it's passing through you. God tells you that so when it's about building the church, it's about building your life to retain command in this wicked world. You are going somewhere and they tie some charm like farmers and all that would do. And the brethren got in there and they stood. I said, what's happening today as you see? See what? I use my left hand to it off. Pass. You are developing capacity with the consciousness of the one who sent you. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. Something is breaking forth in your life. Yeah. So, not to have God at the center of your life, my life remains a struggle. Life remains a struggle. Matthew 10:1. The Bible said, when he had called his 12 disciples, he gave them against unclean spirits to cast them out, to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. And they went forth preaching. He said, as you go, heal the sick. Freely you are giving, freely give. So there's always an empowerment that accompanies men on the go. Mark chapter 6 verse 7, 
he called these 12 and gave them power against unclean spirit. Verse 12 and 13, they went and preached everywhere that men should repent and anointed with women they were sick and healed them. It, it, every time you get on the go, you are entitled to empowerment. So we are not empowered to sit, we are empowered to get on the go. On the go for God and the interest of his kingdom in all these ramifications. Number two, we, we engage in kingdom advancement and divorce is praying kingdom advancement prayers. When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it's done in heaven. Matthew 6, 9 and 10. What's his will? He does not wish that any man should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 2 Peter 3, 9. What's his will? He wants all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth as made available in church. First Peter, I mean First Timothy 2.4 Thy will be done or not. That was a very powerful word from Bishop Oye Uh You're welcome to the commentary section of this video where we try to make powerful analysis about what the preacher was talking about. So, um, in, recent, in recent times, all our videos we've been posting recently has been about centered about the word of God and um, if you if you listen to this particular video you understand that this video is lengthy and um, a lot of testimonies in it. So um, I'm not really gonna say too much but I just wanna put an advice there that um, please uh, try as possible to listen to me, um, all the other videos for you to and this one, so you see a lot of comments, especially on our Instagram and our Facebook on compressing something. Don't um, go through to watch our long videos to understand what the preacher was saying. So, this video is very insightful, and I want to appreciate everyone that's taking their time to like our videos, comment, and subscribe. God bless you, and have a great time. See you on our next video tomorrow. Cheers.